I want to I want to focus because your, okay. your yeah. platform is called Black Entrepreneur Blueprint. Blueprint, yeah. But there's so many things that plague our community that don't plague other communities. Mm -hmm. High incarceration rates, terrible school system, especially public school system within the black communities. Yep. Lack of funding, lack of credit. Within your platforms, do you address all of these issues and how our people can overcome these and still be successful entrepreneurs? Yeah, so with my ecosystem, um, I try to address as many as possible, but I, I don't have the shirt on today, but I have a shirt that says there's no revolution with, without uh, economics, right? Mm -hmm. And so what people need to understand is economics is the driver behind everything. Economics drives politics, economic, which obviously control or create policies. Economics drives the media, which creates the narratives that we're looking at today, and especially during this COVID thing. Economics drives education. So if you're in a um, you know low-income neighborhood, your school may not have enough books. My wife is in the public school system, and the high school she's at is it's not low-income, but it's, it's not on the top upper end, right? And so economics is the driver for everything. So my focus on Black Entrepreneur Blueprint and all of the ecosystems and platforms I've created around it is to build an economic power base in the black community. And that economic power base can be used to improve those same things I talk about, education, uh, media, how we're perceived, uh, also in politics, because politics is a pay to play game. Always has been, always will. You create political action committees, you grease the palms, and when your person gets in, yo, remember what I gave you, I need you to take care of that. And so I just want to say this real quick with the election coming up. I've heard so many people and some prominent black folk talking about it's no need to vote. And I'm going to be straight up with you. I, if you don't vote, then I don't want to hear you open your mouth because I understand how you could say, oh, the national election. But if you don't vote for your local politicians, your school board and the things that are happening around you, that's how grandma who lived in North Philly for 40 years in the same row house now is getting kicked out because the developers agree in the politicians' hands. Now they're getting this uh, zone over here where they're starting to rebuild and gentrify. And now grandmom's taxes go up from 2000 a year up to 20000 a year and grandmom can't pay for it. Now grandmom's out in the street because you decided that voting didn't make a difference. It's the dumbest, I'm, 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 just, I'm straight up, y'all. It's the dumbest thing I ever heard. So economic power base in the black community. Once you get the economics, there's no revolution without economics. You get that. And the best way to get that is to start, build, and support black owned businesses. Sean, you know, less than two cents, and it's in my, my book, A New Black Wall Street, it, less than two cents of every dollar that a black person has in their pocket is spent on a black owned business. Less than two cents. So wow. we have the ability to effect change today. The problem is consciously, we're, we're, we're unconsciously, you know, going about life, right? And I'm going on the tangent, but I just gotta tell you this one thing. No, I tell no, I love, I, I love this space you're in, take your time. Okay. I tell people when I do my talks, my book talks and my speeches and stuff like that, I tell, and it's always the black folks, I'm unapologetically black. I love everybody, but I love you even more, right? So, so my thing is, I said, think about if you work in corporate America and you get paid Thursday night with direct deposit. So when you wake up Friday, uh, your paycheck is in there. So you're on your way to work. You stop at a Dunkin' Donuts, get some coffee and donuts, whatever. Uh, you spend and some gas. Maybe you spend, just say, $25 there. Now you're at work during the day. You spend at lunch. Oh, you're going to go out and grab some lunch. You spend another $20, $25 at lunch. Oh, after work, it's Friday, man. Yo, let's go hang out, grab some drinks, you know, go to the club or the bar or whatever. You spend another $150 there, right? So you spent $200 today. Now, just imagine if your net check was $1,000 that Friday. Before you even take your black behind home, <laughs> you spent 20% of your check, and I guarantee you every place you went was not a black-owned business. 
And you do that and we do that unconsciously. So mm -hmm. that Dunkin' Donuts probably wasn't owned by, the, by a black person. When you went out to Fridays for lunch, that, that probably wasn't a black franchise. Then when you went out to the club or whatever and had dinner, that probably wasn't a black owned business. And so unconsciously, Sean, we start spending all our money and before you know it, you spent 20% of your, your income that day before you even went home to lay down. That's one of the biggest problems. Powerful, powerful stuff. Man, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro. You know, Jay, you, 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 you're speaking my language right now. <laughs> That's what's up. Because, you know, even going back to voting, and I won't stay too long on this point, but please, mm -hmm. stop thinking your vote don't count. Exactly. Stop, stop, stop listening to, to anybody who is encouraging you not to vote. Your vote makes a difference, and it makes a difference in every area of your life. So stop exactly. saying, my vote doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Jay. <laughs> yes, sir. Again, very powerful stuff here. Thank you, brother. For anybody who is looking for you and want to find you, where can they find Jay Jones? All right. My podcast, uh, which is my, my driver for all of my different uh, platforms, Black Entrepreneur Blueprint. You can Google it, but I'm on all your major podcast platforms, iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, YouTube, Google Play, Spotify, uh, Radio.com, uh, YouTube. Um, so Black Entrepreneur Blueprint. But the easiest way to connect with me is B-E-B -E Connect like Black Entrepreneur Blueprint, bebconnect.com. That's actually a page on my website that has all of my social media contact information and all of my resource links, like my book, uh, my two platforms that I have to circulate dollars in the black community, my online courses and all of that, bebconnect.com. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.